Hello everybody and welcome back to Dirt Road Nation. I'm Zach. I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. Fuck yeah we are. We have uh, me hiding off screen. It's just that is great. so fucking good. We normally say that about Wild Turkey, which is probably what you'll think that is with us doing it if you've spent any time watching our videos, which, uh, let's be real, if you're here, you probably have. Um, if not, I'm sorry. Uh, if not, I don't know how we got in front of you, but uh, I hope you make it a little further. This is actually a, a new whiskey that we tried that's just amazing. So, but we're not going to tell you what, because the review will probably go up eight months from now, so... Um, what are we doing today, Zach? We're talking about how should you store your cigars. Carefully. Roll credits. Done. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to cut this right here, and I'm going to actually edit in the end of our video for just a second. <laughs> and then I'm gonna it <laughs> just for anybody that bothers to watch. Mm -hmm. And we're back. Okay, so... How should you store your cigars? There are a number of different ways, and there's uh, only one big necessity that I think you're going to need no matter how you store them. And so I'll start with that, and that's no matter what you're storing them in, I highly, highly recommend Boveda packs. Just, they're, they're great. I've used them in every storage method I've ever used. Um, unless you're getting a, like an electric humidifier as well as a humidor, Boveda packs are the move. And, uh, off of that, we're gonna go with, uh, electric humidors. I got this notes to, like, jog our memory. And this motherfucker reads directly from the notes. That's supposed to be a, like, if you've drawn a blank. <laughs> <laughs> now they can't see your face. <laughs> uh, you should probably put it back. We might get more views. <laughs> Says the guy that weighs more of the two. <laughs> <laughs> that don't mean that you're not prettier. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see our beer bellies. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to quit being Wilson. So, uh, electric humidors. Uh, there's half a one on... No, no, there's not. There's not a one. I don't okay. know what he's talking about. Electric humidors, uh, for the most part, you still need Boveda packs, like he said in the first one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you still need Boveda packs. Uh, what the electric ones do is they just pretty much regulate uh, temperature. And they seal really well so that you're not losing your humidity. And then the Boveda packs regulate the humidity. There are electric humidors that will regulate the humidity mechanically as well. Mm -hmm. um, they're considerably more expensive. We'll get to my recommendations at the end. Obviously, my recommendation is going to be my setup. But uh, another thing that you can get is a low-end, lower-end wood humidor. These are the ones that you're going to find for fifty to a hundred bucks at like Cigars International or random spots. You won't find them in a lot of cigar shops, and there's a reason for that. They tend to not hold humidity well. I had to use half as many Boveda packs in a much smaller humidor that was a cheap wood humidor than I, or as I use in my nice electric humidor. So. If you're going to use the low-end humidors, I would actually recommend that you use what he used to use. A Tupperdor. Yes. Now, a Tupperdor is just a Tupperware container. Uh, it doesn't matter the brand as long as it, it locks in and can seal in uh, humidity or moisture. Put some water in it, turn it upside down. If it don't leak too bad, you're probably fine. And then you just throw in a couple of Boveda packs in there, or probably one of the big ones, and you're, you're fine. You're set. Rotate them around a little bit, and every once in a while, and it's it's the best. Like Tupperware is gonna have a better seal than almost anything you buy that's low end. Mm -hmm. Actually, it will have a better seal than anything you buy that's low end. It's gonna have a better seal than even some of the higher end stuff that you buy. The the big advantage of even a high end wood one uh, that the Tupperdor is gonna have is wood is going to 
constantly be slowly absorbing the moisture as your Boveda pack is trying to put it out. And it even breathes, so the moisture will eventually work its way out. Now, if it's made of the right wood, it will keep it in. Yeah. There are higher end wood humidors you can do this with, and you can find those at probably your local cigar store. However, we'll get into kind of what we recommend now, I think, because we've pretty much touched on everything. Some people use glass jars that seal basically exactly like Tupperware as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, I recommend the lower end of the electric humidors with Boveda packs because a higher end wood humidor that's going to hold the humidity like it should is going to cost you two hundred to a thousand dollars. Two to three hundred you can find a really good one. But you can for two to three hundred bucks get a very not a uh, decent mechanical one like the one behind me was I think two fifty and it's going to have a good seal, it's going to regulate temperature, which is something none of the wood ones can do for you. And then you throw in the Boveda packs and it's going to have a, that seal to keep the humidity in. I changed out my Boveda, my Boveda packs once last year, as opposed to once every two or three months in my old uh, wood cheapo wood humidor that I'm motioning at, but isn't on camera. I just motioned at Jake for you for some weird reason. I used to stick them in Jake's dick. Like, it was human enough, but it was too hot. So, I straight up stole his joke, by the way. <laughs> and lots, I broke him. It's a lot smoother than a needle. <laughs> Oh no! No! <laughs> Why? You whore! I was trying to do a one-off joke. Yeah, I ran with it. Fucked it, it up. Alright. We're not gonna talk about where that comes from. Just know that we knew a guy that stuck a needle down his pee hole. God. Now my whole train of thought's gone. <clears throat> But that I recommend if you're going to spend the money on an ice wood humidor, actually just going with one of the electric ones, or doing what he did, and going with a Tupper door. If you're if you're not going to spend the money on a nice one, just get a tup a piece of Tupperware and throw a Boveda pack in there. It's going to keep it perfect. Um, and keep it in your house because that's going to be around 70 degrees. Yeah, and if for whatever reason, I mean. You know, people's financial situations are going to be different. If, for whatever reason, you, you can't, you don't feel like actually trying to swing buying just a delegated? Right yeah, delegated. delegated piece of Tupperware. Uh, dedicated, I think dedicated, is what yeah. Um, there we go. A delegated could work. Um, a Ziploc bag is going to be the same as long as it's airtight. If it's watertight, it's airtight. Mm -hmm. um, that'll work too. You can just get those like shitload of them for a buck. Yeah. <laughs> um, there are a lot of different ways, but those are those are the two ways I would recommend. Mm -hmm. just start with like a Tupper door, and then save up until you can buy an electric humidor that's that's nicer. Because the most important thing, and I'll close the video with this, is that you keep your cigars at seventy degrees and somewhere. This is personal preference between 65 and 70 percent humidity so I keep I keep mine at 67 percent humidity and uh, 70 degrees so anything else you want to add nope all right till we see you again I'm Zach I'm Jake and we are the dirt road men Hey everybody, if you like this video, uh, hit a like or dislike, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you really like what we're doing, uh, check us out over on Facebook where we post every day.